the Corvette ZR1, a modern interpretation of one of America's oldest and best sports cars, first started back in 1953. The Corvette ZR1 delivers immensely in both styling and performance, generating 638 horsepower from a massive 6.2 liter supercharged V8, along with other sporty parts such as carbon ceramic brakes. The Corvette puts other cars such as Ferraris in their place, and at $100,000, this really is a big bang for its buck. The 2013 Dodge Viper SRT. While it does contain some similar design traits to that of the Corvette, this car is far from similar. The engine of the Viper dwarfs that of the Corvette, for it is a V10 640 horsepower naturally aspirated monster that allows this car to travel to extremely high top speeds. On top of this, active aerodynamics and massive tires allow this car to also do very well with handling. All of these things are going to allow the Dodge Viper to reclaim its place as America's most renowned and best production supercar to date. I really actually like doing that intro, it's a lot of fun. Anyways, this is Omega Liar, and obviously I'm racing the Corvette ZR1 and the Dodge Viper SRT. Now, um, this is kind of cool because the Corvette has always been one of my favorite super slash sports cars, and the Dodge Viper, the new one at least, be, sort of is becoming one. Uh, ever since I saw it at the New York Auto Show, I've just really enjoyed the styling of it now. Uh, I didn't like it before. I thought the backlights were too old styled and ugly compared to the rest of the car. I thought the front was too, I would almost say dodgy, just a big cross, but they sort of subtled that aspect down and just made the car a lot cooler in general. I would compare it uh, even with some Lamborghinis at this point. I'm talking about the Viper, not the Corvette. The Corvette has always been pretty good looking. Uh, Honestly, I feel that the C5, which is the version right before the one you're watching right here, uh, is better looking. But anyway, the Corvette in the game is actually a pretty good car. Um, it is able to pull some pretty impressive times on a lot of places. It's a very upgradable car. You can throw a spoiler on there and you can throw lots of stuff. It doesn't really matter because it's not the greatest looking car in the world, but uh, it is a lot of fun and it does pull some pretty nice times. Now the one I'm dealing with here is almost stock. I wanted to even it out a little bit with the Viper because I know the Viper statistically is a little bit better. So I just upgraded the exhaust. Um, gives it a little bit more power. Not enough to make it unfair in one direction or the other. But regardless, this absolutely stock Corvette ZR1 was able to get a minute, a time of 122.140. Now the top of your time will be, on the, be there in the corner. I don't know it off the top of my head. But let's get to the Viper. Uh, arguably more important in this video is this car, the Viper 2013, not even in full production yet. It's it's crazy that, that Forza was able to get their hands on one and get all the statistics into the game. And it, it looks exactly as I saw it at, um, at the, the uh, New York Auto Show. It's just a fantastic looking car. It's got a pretty good sound, not my favorite in the game, but it's actually in a lot of ways similar to the Dodge Viper SRT ACR that's in this game that a lot of people consider a little bit too good uh, compared to the other cars in its class. This car is a better handler than the Corvette, it's less tail happy. Uh, that's one issue that you get with the Corvette unless you uh, can handle the power. Uh, the Corvette will swing around, around a lot more. Um, and not to say that the Viper doesn't do it, any front wheel drive real, or front excuse me, front wheel engine, rear wheel drive car will have that issue, especially the Mercedes SLS AMG. But this one actually handles it pretty well, which is probably due to the fact that it has absolutely massive back tires, um, if you've ever seen them. But it's what we have to look to here is the time it was able to get. And this is important because this time is in the S class beat only by the Enzo and the Diablo GTR. Uh, it's pretty. It's one of the absolute fastest stock cars I've driven around the track. It's a lot of fun to drive. I imagine when I start to upgrade it, it's going to be very, very good. Uh, this is a car you should get your hands on. Uh, online races, I think it's going to have an edge over a lot of the cars because it was getting a 1 minute 19.891. And I haven't raced it around Top Gear, but anyway, if you like this video, comment, subscribe, and see you next time.